Okay, welcome back everybody. This is now the next episode. Just carrying off, uh, carry on from where we left off. You'll see I installed a texture pack that makes the whole GUI dark, so it looks, looks cool. Um, yes, I was gonna go to the surface and um, smelt my stuff up there, but it's too dangerous up there. It's actually more safe now down here. Um, I'm thinking of actually uh, bringing the grass down here. I want to actually grow the grass on the inside here on the floor. And then we can have like little uh, entrances to different places like say now the storage, the trading room, all sorts of things. So I, I think this is going to be very nice. I think this is a nice spot for a base. Okay, uh, so that means we're going to have to wait for the night to pass. Yeah, it's the middle of the night. Uh, let's light up the rest of this cave here. Also grab some iron. Cannot have enough iron. Um, I was, like I said in the start of the video, I was thinking of maybe trying a game on like uh, minimum brightness just to give the game more challenge um, but um, that could actually cause some viewing issues so uh, I'll just make up the rules as I go and then just stick to them one thing is for sure I will not be using overusing totems of undying so building any farms or whatnot uh, I feel that takes away from the challenge of the game. If I go to a woodland mansion and earn a, a totem of undying, then I, I will wear it. But I just won't farm the heck out of the item. Here we go. Still needs a couple torches here and there in the corners, but should be safe. As you can see, I have subtitles, so if I hear any footsteps and I'm not moving, then you know something's something's wrong. Let's really make sure I don't craft in the darkness. That's something I would do often in my normal survival worlds is uh, craft in darkness. I don't have that luxury in hardcore mode, so... We have to be very careful. I hope this video is recording because I'm playing this in full screen mode and I don't trust my keyboard sometimes. I don't trust OBS sometimes. We have to look all around the corners, make sure you're not being ambushed. Uh, th that area is very unsafe. I'm going to stay away from there. Just make sure you look around every time you mine a few blocks, just to make sure you're still in the clear. What's on the other side there? Okay. Getting quite a lot of iron. We will immediately make ourselves a iron armor suit. What's over here? Okay, let's smelt some of this up. And we will for sure need a, a shield because that's going to help a heck of a lot. I don't have coal yet. Uh, let's make a new pickaxe and let's see if we can find some coal. Sort of my hot bar a bit. Where is some coal? Where 
Where is the coal? This cave has got all the iron, but it's got no coal. It's weird. Isn't there coal there? Eh? Up at the surface. Yeah, this this main area. Yeah, there's some coal. Let's place that old block over there. Grab some coal. Let's first make sure there's nothing around us. So this series is going to be just chill, relax, relaxed, minimal editing. Maybe a cut here and there. Something to sleep to, do your ironing, ironing with, folding the laundry. <laughs> There we go. Now we can smelt our iron. There we go. Just plonk that in there. And then he's like three, maybe four pieces. What you can do is you can make out first. Iron pickaxe. And a bucket. I always make myself a bucket. Let's grab one of these water sources. Might convert these into like a um like little waterfall bomb display area. I'm I'm looking at this area and I'm already picturing in my head what it's gonna look like. Yeah. I I got this place kind of figured out already. There we go. I might uh, cut here and there just to see how my clips are doing, if they're recording, if the audio quality is okay. Um, I try my best to make sure the game audio and uh, microphone audio is nice and mixed properly. Okay, I'm going to check on my recording and then we'll just wait for this iron to smelt. So, see you in a second. Okay, I'm back. Looks good so far. It's just good to do that every now and then. I don't want you guys missing out on any experience um, due to corruption. So, yeah, rather be safe than sorry. Uh, I've got eight more pieces here. Put another piece in there. Um, what's the best way I can exit from this cave? I can already tell this is going to be my main entrance and exit from this area. Just like a, a cute little idea I've got. I was just not. Turn it into my death. <laughs> I think I should actually create an elevator or something. Create a safer entrance. Let's grab some more coal. Here we go. Hmm. What can a person do here? I'm actually thinking of uh, maybe terraforming out this place a little bit and then flattening it out. And then this can be like my. It can sort of be like the base entrance. The. 
the more final base entrance. Grab some more coal. Looks like it's just one piece. I don't know why, but this just looks interesting. I was thinking of maybe creating like a beta 1.7.3 series as well. Because I, I do like myself some old school Minecraft. I'm not sure if I want to continue with the mind test series. I will probably. Um, but right now, I've got some other ideas and things. Um, the Survival Craft series, uh, that I just simply lost interest in, like, just flat out. Um, I also lost the world due to that hacking issue I had recently. Is that an ocean temple? Hmm, cool. I've got access to ocean. Nice, this is actually a very good spawn. Do I have a bed? No. <laughs> but yes, the survival craft series, I don't, I'm not feeling it. What I do feel, however, is maybe starting a vintage story survival series. Because I bought the game the other day. Well, the other day, meaning a couple months ago, I think. And I've been enjoying that game a lot. That game is just... It just scratches the itch of advanced survival. I like the advanced survival mechanics. So, yeah, definitely should make a vintage story series sometime soon. I feel like it actually does survival a lot better than... Survival Craft 2. I know they are like exclusive features like um, sickness. Which Survival Craft has. Unfortunately, Vintage Story doesn't have sickness yet. But um, it has got like sort of a temperature thing. Where you have to worry about your temperature in the winter. Um, in Vintage Story, you spawn in Spring, by default. I think you can customize which season you start out in. Um, and then you have to prepare yourself for Winter. Make sure you stock up on grains, meat, make some meals, preserve them in some vessels. It's a very advanced survival game. Definitely requires some some planning some a lot of brain power you have to remember a lot of things the animals are dangerous i think even chickens will attack you if they feel like they need to defend themselves definitely a game to share sometime soon But um, there will always be a demand for just a simple blocky survival game experience like Minecraft or Mind Test. If you're into the more open source modding community type of thing. I actually feel like Mind Test is more lonely than. Even Minecraft Alpha or Beta. Because you know that there's always a community on the internet for um, Minecraft Beta and Alpha. I think there's like a subreddit called uh, Golden or slash Golden Age Minecraft. So there's definitely still a, a sizable community of around um, Alpha and Beta Minecraft. But mind test. It, you're truly alone. It's 
Get some gold. I don't know what I'm gonna use the gold for just yet. This looks dangerous. Yep, that's dangerous. I'm glad I got the blocks, by the way. Okay, we should be very good on iron. Um, I must really make myself an iron armor set as quickly as possible. Make myself a shield. I can smelt this also. Let's make that quickly. I need some more wood. So I can make myself a shield. There we go. Should be a little bit more protected. Let's go quickly get a tree or two before the sun sets. Okay, quickly, quickly. I said I wouldn't bunny hop, play it slow, <laughs> but I'm in a desperate situation right now. Okay. Let's see, are there any trees around? Yes, there is. There are. <laughs> quickly, quickly. Do I have wood? Yes, that's another thing. I must make a bed so I can sleep the night away. Okay, I think I should be good for now. Head back to the cave. Hmm. Definitely got some options here. Ideas. Let's try and spawn proof this place a bit. This definitely has to change at some point because one day I'm gonna drop down there just at the wrong angle and I'm gonna splat on the ground and then it's game over for this world. Just use that odd bit over there. There we go. And we'll sleep. Where shall I place the bed? Right here. Nice classic setup. Here we go. Got some more iron. Now I've got some wood for my shield. Okay, now I feel a lot more protected. Now I should try and figure out how I'm gonna get that dirt down here. And get the grass to grow. I think let's first terraform a little bit of the cave entrance, collect some of that dirt, and then we use that dirt to create a staircase down there. So, hmm, which level is this? It's a little bit low here. I put the music a little bit louder. Hopefully it's not too loud. I just got this thing where I have to round off to 25 and 50. 
Just to have a little something playing. See how far this gets us. And then we just make sure that the dirt gets proper lighting so the grass can actually spread. I hear a baby zombie. Where are you? I think um, grass can grow diagonally down as well, so if there wasn't a, a dirt block here I think this grass would like spread diagonally down, so I think that is possible, I think that's a thing um, but I'm not going to take any chances Okay, and then what we have to do is basically just fill out this whole area with dirt slowly and gradually Thinking now, which level should I take this dirt? Should be an okay level. I actually think just one more down. Here we go. And then we just light up the staircase so you can let the grass grow. Make a few more torches. Like so. Here we go. I think that should be enough. Let's clear out a little bit more here. Lighten this out a bit. Maybe mine out some of the stone. Get this place nice and flat. Might have to build like a staircase here. Some sort. And maybe build something above here so you can really minimize the risk of being dive bombed by creepers. Let's see if we can collect some of those saplings that we we have from those trees that are chopped. I kind of like the bushy leaves resource pack. I'm using, I'm using the, this version with this icon. <laughs> oh, and I also got this uh, mod that changes your um, shadow. I don't know why it um, wanted to refresh now there. As you can see, my shadow is, um, it's got more like a gradual slope of the gradient, so it looks less edgy. Now that I see these shadows, I definitely feel like Mojang should change the shadows. Let's 
get some more wood. And let's maybe um explore the oceans a bit. Just don't get close to that ocean temple. I'm gonna get jump scared by the mining fatigue. First, let's make let's first plant these saplings, and then make a chest so we can put all our stuff inside. So we don't have a clogged inventory when we go out and explore the oceans. I was just really make sure that I'm aware at all times that I am playing in hardcore mode. Uh, let's make a chest. And then we put it mm, just here. Let's throw a chunk inside here. Maybe leave a stack of building block. Oh, we've got some fish. It should be okay. Yeah. Let's head out. But before I go further, let me just check on my video clip and make sure it's recording. So, see you in a second. Alrighty. It is recording. As I want. As I need. Or else I've got nothing. Let's make a an extra crafting table and let's make a boat. See the seas. Um, what are my coordinates? Let me just take a screenshot. The work menu. So I am facing east. So I spawn facing this way. And that's the north. Until I come up with a better name, I'm going to call this the East Ocean. Uh, speaking of coordinates and stuff, let's kill a squid. Because I need a... <laughs> I always have a beacon pull on me for coordinates. Um, also for the do list. So I'm going to add a coordinate book. I'm sure a lot of players are the same thing. Mm -hmm. Is there a guardian right here? I'm very confused right now. I'm hearing the beam, but I'm not seeing anything. And the temple's all the way that way. Okay, the sun is setting. I'm gonna need a, an extra bed. So I don't have to sleep in the same old bed back at the cave. Let's get a few more sugar cane. This time I'm not going to destroy the bottom bits. I like keeping the 
The bottom bit's intact. Keeps the world just slightly fresh. Is that a is that a jungle? Uh, I'm not a big fan of jungles, especially now these days. I remember the old days when jungles used to be such a rare spawn. But now you spawn in a jungle like every three times. Which makes me think of that time when I was uh, playing by myself. I was looking for a world to start playing in and I spawned in a mesa like three times in a row. Like what are the chances for that? Whoop, that's a trident. That's a trident. And knowing Java Edition, trident drowns are deadly as heck. That's that's also another possible big cause of um, hardcore deaths. <clears throat> or those trident drowns, especially when you're not armored up properly. And they just keep throwing and throwing and throwing. It's definitely not like Bedrock Edition. Java drowns are deadly when they've got a trident. Okay, let's run back and sleep. Maybe make a pair of shears. Maybe shear some sheep instead of killing them so I can farm the sheep in the future. Be careful about this. Yeah, the grass is slowly but surely making its way down here. Is there a hole directly above my bed? No. Okay. <laughs> Good. Uh, where can I plant this? I want to plant it outside somewhere. I need some more food as well. Food is not hard to come by in Minecraft. That's something that Vintage Story does very well is food. The food system is very good. If you um if you've got a diet consisting of all the the different food groups then you can actually um, increase your maximum health so it, um, it gives you a reason to eat as much of a variety of food as possible which is very cool minecraft hunger system is just a it's just a chore You just eat any old thing so you can carry on doing what you wanted to do in the first place okay should be good for now okay let's go exploring some more let's go this way a little bit let's see what's over here oh today is the minecraft live event and um, I'm very curious to hear about the pale garden and the, the creaking mob. I think Minecraft desperately needs more scary stuff in the game. The problem with the warden is that you can easily avoid it. You don't see it often at all. But, um, the creaking sounds very interesting. Modern Minecraft is just not scary at all. 
like, yes, the warden is dangerous and all that, but, like, other than that, the game's pretty tame. Which makes me think about beta Minecraft, because I was playing the other day, um, I was in my strip mine, branch mine, it's technically a branch mine, um, and I just felt the hair on the back of my neck stand up for some reason. Old Minecraft's got that really unique way of freaking you out. I collect some of the spruce. Just to avoid the the snowy snow. It should be facing south. Yes. Okay, seems safe. Bit difficult with all these leaves in my face. Oh, it's always that last block on a spruce tree that gets stuck on a ledge. Okay. Let's collect at least four saplings. Now this is where um, the bushy leaves resource pack starts becoming a problem. It's too bushy. I tried a couple other variations of um, bushy leaves, but something looks off about them. This is actually the, the best one I can find. Yeah, I think that should be enough. Let's carry on north. The trees definitely look more shadowy and round with this resource pack. She's cool. Just stay over there. an exposed shore over there. It's a nice place to find iron and coal. Uh, will I make this jump? No. Not gonna take a chance here. It looks a little bit dodgy. Oh yes, I need some fish as well. Need to restock on food. Come here, fish. Okay, so I think ever since the Aquatic update and um, the village and pillage update. Food has become very easy to find. I remember in the old days of Minecraft where you you literally had to walk and make sure that you're not consuming your hunger, so you can get a hold of seeds and start growing them. Preserve some animals. Okay, kill this last little group and then we'll carry on to that rocky shore.
keep an eye out for cows and chickens so we can get our hands on some leather and feathers so I can make that book and quill. Okay, I think that's enough fish for now. Okay, let's see what's over here. Interesting looking mountain. Mm. Let's collect some of this coal. Just finish this stone pickaxe and then I'll switch over to the iron pickaxe. Definitely, I um, feel like my building in this series is not going to be over the top. I'm not going to try and build the bestest looking thing in the world. I'm just going to try and build and have fun in the game. Because you're going to get too sucked into making the nicest looking builds, the most realistic looking builds, then. You tend to burn yourself out very quickly. Okay, that should be south. Yes, and that's east. Hello, dolphins. They're a lot less annoying than a mind test dolphins. What is that? Let's go explore this ruined portal. Let's see what we got. Take that. Everything else is junk. Okay, let's head back home. Is that a shipwreck? You know let's stick around a little bit. Let's explore the shipwreck first. Should be safe. Okay, I think that this... Get me off, get me off, stupid boat. <laughs> I think this shipwreck should have at least two chests. Okay, let's first fill up on the oxygen before we go. Okay, let's make it quick. Poop. Interesting. And then where's the cabin? Let's see. Here we go. We got a treasure map. Yeah, well, let's um, get this treasure first, and then I'll end off the episode after this. So, southeast. So, southeast. That means this direction. Put in the one. No. Still want my shield out. Hoping for at least three diamonds. My dot's getting smaller. Am I going in the right direction? It's southwest, not southeast. Uh. By the way, I have lost complete direction. 
I don't know where my base is. I think if all else fails, just hit the wall zero zero. You're bound to find some landmark. Okay, I don't know if there's a way around this island. I don't know if this is a mainland. Yeah, let's be careful here. There's a creeper, there's a zombie, there's a skeleton. Avoid the skeleton. As long as I'm moving, I should be safe. And if you ever see a skeleton, then just zigzag. There's a witch, there's a witch, there's a witch, there's a witch. Bugger off, bugger off, bugger off. Yay, west. There's a skeleton. Let's dive in the water so the arrow loses its velocity. There we go. Slowly but surely making my way. Damn, this treasure is far away. You're making me work for it, huh? But it's got plenty of diamonds. Your skeleton to my right. Okay, that's that spider looks isolated. This one also looks isolated from skeletons. I can use the string. Okay, I've got two from that, so I think that's fine. The problem with um Spiders is that they, I don't know why, it just feels like they tend to spawn right next to skeletons. Let's get rid of these two creepers before I continue. Okay, that works. Okay, there are two methods to doing this, and I prefer one way over the other. Okay. Where is that number again? Oh, there it is. Nine. Nine. There we go. Straight down. What the... <laughs> okay, I see it. What a weird spawn for buried treasure chest. Okay, I'm gonna have to do this in pieces. Because this is pretty deep. Okay, let's just surface quickly. I take, a, take a couple damage, but it's fine. That's a terrible spawn for buried treasure. Got some more cooked salmon. Put that away. Okay, you know what? Come on, dolphin, help me. Okay. We made it. Let's head back home. Um, this way should be home.
See if we can kill that spider. Can always use some strength. Nope, that's a skeleton. <laughs> you see what I'm talking about? The spiders always spawn next to skeletons. How close are we? Can I recognize any of this area? I mean, I have to check on my coordinate screenshot. Try and kill this spider. Seems to be no skeleton there. Always use the string. What's over here? Let's some more sugar cane. I don't recognize this area. Let's head back to the ocean and follow the shore. And yeah, let's kill a couple cows. I think that should be enough. Um, let's save some inventory space here. Should be enough for the book. this way I might have to check up on my that screenshot that I took uh, what can we throw a bone meal See, there's something familiar on the other side. <laughs> I kind of want to find my base without referring to my screenshot. Interesting area, this. Here we go, we made it back. <laughs> okay. So let's put these goodies away and I think we'll end off the episode. We... Alrighty, water breathing potions, uh, let's put one string away, let's make ourselves a fishing rod at least, before we end off, 
Also keep the diamonds on me. <laughs> so like I'm gonna die and respawn. Uh, let's make a fishing rod. There we go, everybody. Uh, see you next episode. Goodbye.